Hey guys, Mike here. Well, this is my second take of the video. I'll just say that. Um, this is how a chiller works for somebody. I'm sorry, I forget your username. And this will be a response to the uh, cooling tower video, how a cooling tower works. So, here we go for all of you. This is how a chiller system works. Now, I've picked a rotary screw compressor for this, because it's the easiest one to do here. And uh, we will start. So, first you see two chiller barrels. There's a compressor, there's a cooling tower, and we'll get to that later. Okay, so first the compressor compresses the gas, as you know, and I don't know if it's the liquid first or the hot gas first, but let's just say it's the liquid. So the compressor compresses it to the liquid after it gets cooled, I guess. Comes through here, through these copper tubes, and then that's going to cool water that's circulating in there, and that water circulates through a number of air handlers, I just uh, drew one here, and the air handler sucks in the hot air from the room, and the humid air, as you know, cools it just like an air conditioner, all that heat is taken out of the water, now I don't know what chilled units, do they add humidity or, or not? I'm not, that's something I'm not sure of yet, but let's leave the humidity out of it, um, we'll, we'll just say it's taking the heat out of the air, because these are water chilled units, not refrigerant coils and they have water cooled so that's what I'm not sure about but uh, I'm sure one of you HVAC techs will tell me but uh, yes anyway the um, the water comes through the heat's taken out of the air gets into the water water comes through and now uh, this is all the water just flows around these pipes here these uh, the refrigerant lines and um, the um, the heat from the water is then absorbed into the refrigerant compresses into the high side here, the um, the hot gas. Then it goes into the second barrel with water. And then that heat is taken out of the water of our cooling tower here. Now th there's always a pump here and there to circulate the water around. I didn't, I didn't draw that though. So then the water is taken here. It's cooled down by the cooling tower, as I've drawn before, or a lake if you're by one. If a building is by one, they'll use the lake to uh, cool the um, water. Then it comes back around and back in and the cycle repeats and that's cooling the getting the heat out and it's expelling it back into the air. That is the water cooled chiller. Here we have an air cooled chiller. As you can see your compressor is right there. Let me get a pencil because my uh, finger's a bit fat here. Alright, so there's the compressor. There's your chiller barrel. And there's only one chiller barrel because remember the hot gas in this is in a coil here so it's fan cooled and the um, the liquid line just goes to the chiller barrel and the, um, the water is cooled that way. So that's how an air-cooled chiller works when you don't have, I guess, room for water-cooled ones or your, your reasons for that. But uh, yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much how a uh, chiller works. The, uh, just not sure with the water-cooled air handlers, do they take humidity out of the air too? Because I know they're water-cooled. But uh, yeah, okay. Uh, thank you for watching and Mike out.